views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody, I want to welcome you. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. For those of you that have been listening to me all day, oh, bless your heart. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning us in, turning us on. And for those of you that tune into this hour through our syndicated network, welcome to the show. Uh, shout out to Mr. Benny and Mr. Taylor. You are going to be busy today. Uh, how are you, Benny? How are you doing? Hi, we're doing awesome as usual. Go Hawks. <laughs> Go Hawks. Okay, we can do that. That sounds like a plan to me. Uh, you know, I got my nails done. If you saw my nails, they're like um, the, the navy blue with the white with the green. We appreciate you supporting the 12th man. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to welcome everybody to the show. We got a great show for you today. Oh, yes. If you all have not listened to Psychic World on Transformation Talk Radio, you're going to get an introduction to it today. Author, poet, clairvoyant, host of Psychic World on Transformation Talk Radio, John Sutton joining us here today. But we also have a special guest, the Countess Sorella, joining us. Today's show, for all of you out there that have been waiting for this, that have been Facebooking us like crazy, yes, this is a call-in show. We are going to be doing uh, what we do so very well here, featuring John and the Countess, as we open up to the world, to that psychic world, opening us up to what is to come forth. Now, I listen to John's show with the Countess every week, and I am amazed, blown away by what shows up, uh, the level of accuracy, the level of insight. It has been the most amazing experience for me and all of us here and all of us that that have tuned in. He is the top UK psychic, John Sutton, and he talks about today his work as a clairvoyant, author, poet, and we may get a little treat with some music. And so for all of you tuning into the show, I want to just say this is an extraordinary time. This is the time where you all get to participate. So let me just say this now. For those of you that want to make sure that you're in the queue to connect, come on air, have a reading, we have already opened up the phone line. 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. We're thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to have John here joining us and the Countess. Welcome to both of you. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, John. Thank you, dear. Glad to be here. So I want to ask each of you a question. Uh, the question is this, and uh, let's just kick it off. I want to know, given all that you are, all that you do, all that you've done and what you're doing now, for each of you, what are some of the challenges and obstacles you've had to overcome to bring you to this very moment? Well, for me personally, uh, don't forget I'm in the United Kingdom, uh, and I started this professionally perhaps 30 years ago. The the initial obstacles were, were, were the media, because it had not been done on the media. Uh, there would be no such channels as this. There'd be no uh, psychic telephone calls. Uh, and the first show in the United Kingdom featured myself and another psychic medium in Preston on Red Rose Radio. And there were demonstrations 
There were people standing outside re- reading quotations from the Bible. Uh, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Uh, we were virtually persecuted uh, 25, 30 years ago. Uh, so it was overcoming that, which I used to my advantage by keeping all the headlines, sending them to Harper Collins, who were a massive, the world's one of the biggest publishers. They liked what they saw because it was outrageous and commissioned me to write a book. I've never looked back. Countess Sterella, and for those of you out there, interfaith spiritual advisor, counselor, helping people discover depth and harmony for their lives for many years. Fabulous, fabulous sidekick, as I like to say, as Benny is mine, uh, on Psychic World. Countess, how about you? What kind of uh, mountains have you had to climb up and cross? Uh, What is an obstacle? Let me get my dictionary. I don't think I'm Ah. too familiar with that word. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, me either, right? (gasps) Well, I I believe probably learning how to set boundaries with ordinary earthlings so that the big picture could materialize and hmm, finding the niche markets of people who respond to the things that we particularly have to offer. And these numbers are increasing, as you well know. They, I, I would say quickly most obstacles have been removed. Lucky us. Yeah. I feel very and fortunate. So you, yeah, very fortunate, isn't it? You know, I, part of this is really looking at, and I was talking about this before, about this sense, this energy. And I want to, I want to ask each of you, you know, is it an illusion that this year has presented a broader expanse of energy? Uh, because this is what I'm hearing from people. We're only in the first month of the year, but we're hearing something very different than than folks have heard and I've heard uh, in, in in the previous year. John, what what is your sense of it? You talk to people all over the world every day. Um, uh, have things shifted, or is that just me having like an, elus- an illusion here, like I did in the seventies? I don't think you're having an illusion about this. Uh, there is a, there is a certain shift in the world's energy. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that you're aware that the activity on the sun uh, uh, has quietened a great deal. Mm. So we're, we're having one of the quietest periods of sun interaction. Uh, there, there is extreme weather all over the world. There is, there is a massive change. There's going to be a big change in, 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 the, in the power paradigm in, across the universe. Uh, and America will be, I, I feel, is going to be reborn from a, a very quiescent period uh, with regards to finances in the world, and, and America is going to re-emerge as, as one of the major powers, if not the major power, uh, and that is going to affect on everybody. The spiritual world is, is absolutely behind this, uh, and I feel that a lot of people are going to be awakening mm. with, with their psychic sides starting to become more and more intuitive. People are telling me all the time that they are hearing and seeing spirit, so we're having a, a greater, closer interaction with the next dimension, and I believe that it is just a next dimension. There is no such thing as death. There is a, there is another doorway, and that leads to another world mm. that we that we call we may call it paradise, we may call it heaven, but there is no such place as hell, in my opinion. What 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 happens there is people who walk on the dark side here will walk on the dark side there. <laughs> The birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> I love that. You know, uh, Countess, how, what do you experience? I know you as well. Um, you know, you speak with clients about personal power and balance and much more. And, you know, I'm wondering, is there a different sense of people or is is this just me? It is not just you. I do not feel it is an illusion. It's a tangible, wonderful feeling that started sometime last year, but particularly this year, people coming out of their cocoons, willing to be their true authentic selves, not allowing darker energies to get in the way of their own progress, and more activity from the light workers. It seems like the brighter energy is 
expanding and some of the less pleasant entities or feelings are getting a little smaller as well as those who have worked hard and created lovely karma for themselves seem to be getting rewarded now. So Mm. it's a beautiful feeling of accomplishment and ability. Well, I want to tell you, we we got a buzz going on here. For those of you that want to connect uh, with John and the Countess during the show today, uh, it's amazing. We're going to tell you about their radio show in a minute. Uh, And uh, I'm pretty much, when we come back from break, I'm just going to turn the show over to them because I love listening to them. Uh, For those of you that want to call in for a reading, I know Taylor is busy picking up those phones, 1-800-930-2819, toll free right now. 1-800-930-2819. We are taking your calls. We want to make sure we get you in the queue. For those of you out there that want to ask a question through our instant feedback process, that's easy. Go to TransformationTalkRadio.com on the right-hand side, put your question in, or go to the DrPatShow.com on the right-hand side, put your question in. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to this amazing pairing of inspirational, spiritual, psychic phenomena, John Dillon and the Countess Nadia Shara. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the show. Just put your paws up, because you were born this way, baby. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Tune in each Tuesday at noon Pacific and 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Dr. Julie Show, All Things Connected with Dr. Julie Kroll, featuring weekly segments with David Eisen and the Shocker Sound System. Each week, you will journey through infinite possibilities, expand into social potential, and find beautiful beginnings where endings leave off. Changemakers from around the world will explore what's emergent about the environment, relationships, health, the arts, education, and the evolution of consciousness. Visit TheDrJulieShow.com. Laura Longley is on a mission to remove stuckness from your life for good and replace it with happiness. Tune in Mondays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Laura Longley Show, where authentic change takes flight. Say yes to that inspired you and goodbye to your stuckness as Laura and her guests deliver powerful ways to work through common problems in this fun and unique hit show. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Where do you desire to go in life? How do you plan to get there? Are you only looking outside yourself for the answers? What if you use your soul's wisdom to lead the way? So what is the soul and how do you access its wisdom? Soul Suitcase with Victoria Cohen will unpack these questions and help you tap into and trust your own inner voice to solve everyday problems. Your Soul Suitcase is a treasure chest of wisdom inside you waiting to be discovered. Listen to Soul Suitcase on TransformationTalkRadio.com and discover how awakening to your inner voice transforms your life. Oh, 
Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show, Talk Radio to Thrive By. This is a special edition of Psychic World. Uh, I'm so thrilled to introduce you to, and you know what? I don't know what I was saying before. John Sutton, who's joining me here today, as well as the Countess Sir, Sorella. And here's what I want everybody to know. These folks uh, have been doing an amazing job hosting a show, Psychic World. And uh, John is going to tell you a bit about that. What I want to say to everybody listening, we are going to do our best to get to those phone lines, like, right away. But before we do, I would love for each of you to just spend a moment, let folks know a bit about the radio show and about each of your websites, if we could. Very good, yeah. Well, my name is John G. Sutton, and uh, I run Psychic World, which is a radio show on Transformation Talk Radio, uh, which is a brilliant station, by the way. And uh, the, the show, well, what is the show about? It's about you. First and foremost, this show is about the listeners. It's about your hopes, your dreams, your aims, ambitions, your aspirations, your loves, your career, and about the very life itself. When you call into Psychic World to speak to either myself, John G. Sutton, or Countess Storella, we will do our absolute best to tune in and give you the insights and information that we receive through our guides and our connections with the world beyond. Uh, my name is John G. Sutton, and now I'd like to introduce you to Countess Starbella, who's going to say a few words about herself. Countess. <laughs> Hello, friends. Very, very glad to have you all with us today. We seek to inspire you, encourage you, give you a kind of unconditional love and appreciation so that you then appreciate yourselves, and you can find me at countessstarella.com or on orainum.com. Orainum.com, yeah. That's a wonderful website. I work there myself as Psychic John G., if you happen to be familiar with orainum.com, or you can find me through psychicworld.net. There's loads of stuff on there, photographs of elemental beings. I spend a lot of my time researching uh, ghost sightings, haunted houses, uh, ruined castles, uh, psychic phenomena across the United Kingdom. Indeed, this weekend I'm going to uh, a fairy glen in, in, in the area called Wales, where I will be uh, tuning in and asking the elemental spirits to interact. If you've got any questions tonight that you'd like to put to myself, John G. Sutton, or Countess Starella, do phone in. If you wonder who I really am, Google me. The name's John G. Sutton. I'd be delighted to speak to you. I love it. And I want to just mention to everyone, you can catch the show uh, Wednesdays on Transformation Talk Radio at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, right now, I think Mr. Benny... I believe we should go to the phone. All right. Let's take Kelly calling in from Seattle. Kelly, welcome to the show. Hi. Just a minute. I'll turn off my radio. Um, Thank you. <laughs> question about whether or not you could tell if I have any contracts from past lives that are limiting me in this one. That I've tried to bring oh. but... Kelly, can you hear me? Yes. Kelly? Can you hear me? Yeah. This is John yes, G. Sutton here. My name's, my name's John, yeah. Now, listen, I feel that all, all through your life you've had an affinity with uh, Egypt. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I feel that if you look back, you, you, you may have had dreams of Egypt, visions of the pyramids. I feel if you go back in your life, in your many lives, because we all live many times, many lives, many masters, uh, look back look back into your dreams and see what you recall about Egypt, because I believe that you were involved in some way in the temple situation, and uh, there was a city in ancient Egypt called Bubastis, in which uh, the, the, the cat-headed goddess, Bast, was worshipped, because they did worship cats in ancient Egypt. Kelly, can you tell me if you've had an affinity with cats in your life? Uh, yes and no. Um, ever since I lost a pet, can you hear me okay? Yeah? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good, because I'm talking loud. Ever since I lost a pet, a Doberman, back in uh, 81, I had a hard time getting attached to um, pets at all. It can tell um, Anubis. Actually, Anubis is his name. We found him downtown, and I brought him home and doctored him. And, wow. and he's, we still have him. He's 16 years old. Mm. And 
Can you his tell name me, is Anubis, but Kevin. my daughter named him. But I, I can't honestly say that I have, no. But with well, Egypt, perhaps, I, yes, I, in the I, distance. Anubis is the dog-headed god of Egypt, yes? Did you know <laughs> I that? know, so that's kind of, but I didn't name him. My daughter, Jenna, did. Yes, but don't forget you're psychically connected to your daughter. Uh, and Correct, that would yes. be a clair, uh, that would be a clairvoyant message, uh, like a telepathic message from from the past. And I believe yeah, that he's, cats. Him and I are very close. Uh, you're very close, but cats and certain Egypt and certain uh, iconography of Egypt has been around you, whether you know it or not, many times in your life. So that when you see images of Egypt, it's almost as if it triggers that. So. Do you know a place in uh, called Bellevue? Bellevue in te- in Washington. I can't tell you where. No, it's just Bellevue, a name Egypt. Some... No. All right, it's not in Egypt. No, it's 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 somewhere in America. I just yeah, didn't... Be- yeah, Bellevue, Washington. Yeah, he's just asking you. You know, he he's not from Washington State, so so John wouldn't know oh, where yes. Bellevue is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know where Bellevue is. It's east of here. All right, there's going to be some connection with you and Bellevue, yeah? I also feel that you're going to start looking at images of Egypt and, and making some drawings and some investigations into that. I'd like Countess Starella to have a quick look at this. Countess? Yes, I feel it too. I feel the Egyptian connection. And here's my vision on how past lives can and should affect you at this moment. You want to quickly at this time clear out your mind of any possibility that something that far back could be not positive. Everything that's happened is positive. As long as you're standing in your power of now and able to look back and say, well, these are pieces of life or of art or of creation so that I could become who I now am. You alone can choose whether or not something from the past has a not-so-wonderful effect on the now. I personally psychically don't feel that there is anything, but as you're able to release it and say, oh, I'm the one in charge now, everything that happened is cleared or evaporated so that I'm free now to just enhance my life through those past experiences. The future looks bright, and, of course, part of it is from your ability to occasionally remember something here and there and say, wow, what valuable information and lessons from my past. Not only do I feel the Egyptian connection, there seems to be something in Britain and also a Native American background. All these things are rather hazy because they're from so long ago. But use them for enjoyment and fun and excitement and and right. never allow yourself to think that there's anything not so positive there. It's all well, wonderful. Well, actually, um, I'm up to remembering eight past lives, and my daughters are both my mothers and two of them, and one of them, she was my daughter, and another was killed. and like So all the stuff is playing out now and a lot of healing. It's mm-hmm. It's really absolutely amazing. And I thank you for helping me to, because the one where my daughter died, it was war, and she she died on my watch, and I carried that with me, and I'm in the process of knowing I'm, it wasn't my fault, it was, and so it, it's so interesting when you tap into those memories, which it's interesting about the Egypt because, anyways, I, I um, but it does help me understand mm-hmm. why and what I'm going through now and helping me to break contracts with things I did long ago. But thank you for the Egypt and the Native American I knew and the Britain I didn't know um, connections because I love pieces to puzzles because <laughs> uh, uh, it helps me let go and be here now. <laughs> that's wonderful. Kelly, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, and also another thing, Kelly, you and your daughter are absolutely psychically connected, and, and you have got a job to do in the future. It's to do with healing. So remember that I've said that to you right at the close. I am a healer. I'm a Reiki. I'm a Reiki healer, energy healer. So thank you for igno- that, that, uh, validating that, because <laughs> that's yeah, where I'm, I'm headed. Absolutely certain. That, that is you. where you're going, awesome. and that is, that is what you've got to do. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Benny, should we go to a break first? Uh, John, uh, Countess, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm happy. Let's go for a break, and then we'll give it to him in the next part. I love it. All right, everybody, this is a special super edition of the Dr. Pat Show because it's really Psychic World uh, with John G. Sutton and the Countess Jarrell. When we come back, we're going to take you all that have been waiting on those phone lines, all of you that are still trying to call in. We got a couple of instant feedback messages here from Jasmine and Mandy. Oh, this is so juicy. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back with the show. Are you ready to move past limiting beliefs and unconscious obstacles that are holding you back from financial prosperity? Do you want to be free from debt and that feeling of being disempowered? Mary Jane Allen is a financial healer and joy creation specialist who uses her unique set of tools included in her financial healing process to help her clients move past those beliefs and fears. For more information and to contact Mary Jane, visit her website, manifestyourlifedream.com and begin your financial healing process today. Psychic World, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, with John G. Sutton, featuring his special guest, Countess Torella. One of Britain's most respected psychic mediums, John is an internationally published author, poet, and professional clairvoyant. His best-selling books include Psychic Pets, featured with John on the Walt Disney Channel, Animal Planet. Currently, John is the feature editor of the monthly Psychic World, which is the UK's Journal of Spiritualism. He has over 30 years of experience working in the field of paranormal studies. Countess Torella has an incredible ability to visualize your future in a positive, passionate way. This show offers all listeners Listeners, the chance to call in and speak directly to John or the amazing Countess Torella. You can ask your personal questions about love, career, money, relationships, or whatever is troubling you in this often difficult life. What dreams may come? Join John G. Sutton and Countess Torella to discover your answer. See www.psychicworld.net. Tune in Thursdays at 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern to Spirit Guidance Radio with Shannon Walbrand on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show with South Africa's top psychic will amaze and uplift you. Call in to receive detailed, specific answers that offer immediate solutions as Shannon interprets messages from your spirit guides. Whether it's love, business, or health, your spirit guides are ready to help. Visit ShannonWalbrand.com for more info. You are guided. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Hey, do you like free stuff? The Dr. Pat Show has an amazing giveaway program doing weekly giveaways on Facebook and Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and click the like button. Then go to Twitter.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and click the follow button. Then you can play along and enter to win some amazing prizes. Again, that's Facebook.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and Twitter.com slash The Dr. Pat Show. Hey, everybody, welcome back. John, you're on. Oh, right. Oh, great. Thank you, Pat. Yeah. Well, everybody, listen, the, the Psychic World, it's a, it's a fun show, yeah? And one of the things that myself and the Countess usually do is, is give people a song in, in, in the styles of, of certain famous singers. So tonight I'm going to sing in, in the style of Sinatra, except it isn't Frank Sinatra. This is Edward Sinatra, the pizza delivery man from Hoboken, uh, New York. So, are we ready to go off planet, Countess? Yep. Are you ready? Ready, ready. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, Dr. Pat, come on, kiss me. Oh, yeah. Kiss me. Oh, I'm just like, I love this. Fill my heart with 
song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. In other words. words. I, I love, love you. you. Great, that was wonderful. <laughs> I believe we've got a, a great queue of people waiting to speak to us. Yes, Mr. Benny, who do we have next? Sure, Pat, let's go with uh, Barb calling in from Edmonds. Barb, welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, Hello. Barb. Hello. Yeah. Hi. We got you. Yep. Hello, Bob. Can you hear me over okay? Yeah, it's kind of a bad connection, but it's it's working. It's working. I can I can hear you. Yeah, you've got a question about love, have you, Bob? Yes, I do. Yeah, I I want somebody in my life. <laughs> you want a man in your life? You like tall men, Bob. I know that you do because I can see a tall man in your past and be a tall man in your future. But this man I feel is about six foot six foot one, which even Today, he's reasonably tall, I would say. Uh, and I also feel that they've, they've had links to uh, Los Angeles, California. Have you had any connections at all to Los Angeles, California, Bob? Um, well, I have had some relatives that have lived there, but um, not, not any strong not- connections. You don't have to have a strong connection, but there's been connections to uh, to Los Angeles, yeah? But I also feel that the part of Los Angeles, just outside Los Angeles, it's a place called Santa Monica. And I feel that you will be okay. going to Santa Monica. Uh, there's a very nice man there, but you're connecting to a certain extent via the Internet. I feel that you, you may not have met this man yet, but I also hear the name of Mike, Michael. Does that relate to your past? Uh, there's no Michael related to my past other than a stepbrother who has passed. All right. Well, it may be your stepbrother that's passed because I'm hearing the name of Michael and they're saying that uh, you are going to, and also the name that you will you will connect with in, in Los Angeles will, will be Pete. Did this man pass at quite a young age, this Michael? Uh, yeah, he, um, let's see, we're the same age, so he was... About forty-two. Yeah, well, he, he thought he was quite young when he when he passed. Yeah, he, 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 but for some reason, he's showing me motorbikes. Do you know people who drove motorbikes? Yes, yes, he did. Yeah, all right. Give me a break here. I'm telling you, this guy's got a motorbike at the moment. He's showing me a Harley Davidson. He said he always wanted one. Anyway, he's got his Harley Davidson now. Michael's watching over you, whether you know it or not. He's telling me that you are, your love life is going to change. It, 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 it falls quite rapidly, falls together, uh, and you will take a trip down to California, Los Angeles, and that area, but specifically into Santa Monica. So you'll find yourself on the beach at Santa Monica with, with a very nice man. Uh, this This man, Michael... Was he particularly fond of hamburgers? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's showing me. He's showing me a hamburger. He says he's never had better hamburgers in his life, and he's got a life. Countess, please go over <laughs> this wonderful lady. Barb, I'm so <laughs> optimistic about the future of love. You know what you want now. You can zero in on just what is perfect for you, and Keep those high standards and don't move too quickly. And what is your ultimate goal? Do you want to marry or do you just want a companion? <laughs> I, I would I would remarry. Um, I would be happy with a lifetime companion. Um, either way, I just don't want to be alone anymore. You're not destined to be alone. This is a breakthrough time. And you must use the resources at hand to connect to this person. Don't turn down any fascinating invitations and keep this sense of lightness and 
excitement about life. The happier you are, the faster you can find him. And I, I feel it's near future. It is close by. What city are you now in? I'm in Edmonds, Washington. All right. Just keep a, a broad vista of where this person may come from. Uh, John is usually very good with locations of new people. So something wonderful is about to happen, and you have the magic of Valentine's Day approaching. So I would say to myself, <laughs> oh, the perfect person is about to appear, and I will train him if he needs it. <laughs> 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 Days ahead, Barb. We're right behind you, sending energy for success. Awesome. And good. Awesome. Thank you, Barb. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. Mr. Benny, who do we have next? Yeah, we'll take Maria calling in from Seattle. Hi. Thank you, John and Countess and Dr. Pat. Thank you so much. I also have a Wondering if you um, can sense love coming in my life and companionship, partnership. Um, I'm still ready for it. Yeah. Yes, yes, perfect. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Do you know a place called Rainier? What's oh, that? Rainier. Rainier. Rainier, yeah. Rainier. Rainier, yeah, just Rainier. Rainier. Yeah. Uh, Rainier or uh, better known as Rainier to us, right? Mount Rainier? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Just yes. I hear it not perfectly, yeah? Yeah. It's going to be a connection with somebody from Rainier or Rainier, yeah? Oh, really? I, I do feel it. Oh, really? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know does, that does, does, does it doesn't ring any bells to me at all, but I'm very open to to hearing where, where he may come from or where we may meet. Huh. Where do you live now? I, I live um, also um, in Edmonds. Oh, so you know Mount Rainier, and you know you know the Rainier Valley and all of that, right? You bet, you bet, I do. All right, there you go. <laughs> but tell me, and I, I, I don't know this place. I don't know this place, but tell me, is is this some kind of uh, beauty spot? Because it, it looks to me a oh, very beautiful gorgeous. area. Gorgeous, <laughs> Mount Rainier is, uh, I don't know how high it is. Benny could fill us in on that. It's one of our most beautiful, beautiful mountains. Just gorgeous. The whole and area. I've, I've never when been there before. You, you've never been? No, I've never been. Mm. All right, okay. I just see this place. I hear the name. I know it's a very beautiful area. Uh, and when you go there, you will be in love. Are you with me? You're also a very creative, very positive person. In the, when you were young, did you write poetry? I did. Oh, I, 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 I did. did. You did write poetry, and I don't know if it was published or you won a prize for it, but you've read this poetry, and you should really do that because you are a very creative, articulate, and intelligent individual. And the man that you're going to connect with will like that aspect of your nature. It isn't just the fact that you're a very beautiful lady, who, by the way, your hairstyle is very nice. You just changed that. <laughs> I do <did. laughs> The color, too, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, that's a very psychic me, you know, uh, and, and I'm telling you that you are going to connect and it will be the most lovely time of your life because you have been through tears in the past and you're going to walk now in the most beautiful valley by the most wonderful mountain with a man hand in hand and this is going to be the time of your life that you enjoy possibly most for a long, long time. Uh, and also I see something to do with do you have memories of a garden swing when you were a little girl? Um, not particularly, I'm seeing, no. I'm seeing a gentleman here, an elderly gentleman. He was elderly when he passed. But he's trying to tell me that he used to push you on a swing. Uh, now, I'm sure that this is your grandfather or your great-grandfather. It's a, it's a very, it was a, a very elderly gentleman. My, he, fa- my father was very, very elderly. Yeah. But he, he, he is watching over you, yeah? Uh, you have his photograph of him when he was a young man, don't you? Yeah, I do. Mm. Uh, have you recently been speaking to this photograph? Uh, no. No, I, I have, no, I haven't. My father was, uh, I mean, he passed away when I was 18, but he was in his late 70s at the time. Yeah, he was an elderly gentleman when he passed. There was a photograph of him when he was a young man. Speak to him, yeah? 
because he's okay. watching over you, and, and he is the man that's going to guide you. So when you connect, you will absolutely know. And your father, you will have an image of your father as a young man, because this man will have a certain look at him, because your father, I believe, was a very distinctive-looking gentleman, wasn't he? Yeah, very, very much so, you bet. He was. Would you like to have a quick word with the Countess? Thank you. Thank you. Maria. I yeah. just met a girl named Maria. This new guy is very, very interesting. He's fun. He's lighthearted. He's generous. And I, I'm with John. He has some of the great qualities of Dad. He seems as though he'll be drawn to you, possibly through some sort of introduction. So you are just to put your radar up and be ready for something fascinating. It's a good timing for you, too. And this talent, this poetic talent, this man had it when he was little as well. He's not doing it now, but he. this will be one of the connecting points for the two of you. And allow your imagination to wander into a chivalrous type. This is a unique, fun guy that you will, well, I think you'll be amazed. You'll feel a connection right from the beginning. And oh, will, nice. Looks good. Now you're sending that vibration out there so you can pull it towards yourself. Oh, and is it soon? Is it? Do we know when this might be? I, where are we now? I would say before the end of March. Yeah, yay. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate your, um, your insight, and thank you for sharing. Good luck, darling. Wow. Thank, thank you. Uh, for those of you out there, we have some phone lines, I believe, open. I'm going to give you that 800 number again, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. Hopefully we'll be able to get one or two calls in if you give us a shout right now. Um, also, uh, John, uh, Countess, Hello. I think that this is really kind of cool. Let's just let people know about uh, the radio show, the time, and, you know, folks, this is also, their show is fabulous. What fun. Uh, and so I want to just make sure everybody there knows how to tune in, turn you on, and do all the juicy stuff with you. Great, yeah. Well, uh, it's called Psychic World. It's there at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time or 8 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, it's on Transformation Talk Radio, which is this station. It's called Psychic World. I'm John G. Sutton. And one of the features of the show is poetry that I read. Uh, and uh, I'm a published poet, and I, in fact, I tour as a poet in the United Kingdom. And uh, a poem that I wrote, which was published uh, some time ago, was about a dear friend who died. Uh, and it's a very spiritual poem, and I felt that you would enjoy this this evening as a sample of my work. Uh, it's about a gentleman who passed, and he didn't want to leave his family, and this is how I saw what happened to him on the day that he transcended this world and went into the next dimension. It's called, I Was Gone. I was gone this morning when I looked in the mirror to comb my hair. In the living room I searched, there was no one in my chair. I was gone this afternoon when I tried to dry your tears. It's so hard to see you crying for those long ago years. I was gone this evening as you went to climb the stair. Then you turned but didn't see me. My footsteps trod the air. I was gone in the moonlight as the silent silver shone. Then I heard you whisper my name, but I was gone. And that is how I felt that dear gentleman friend of mine would have been on the day that he left this world to move into the next dimension because he dearly loved his family and he was gone. Hope you enjoyed that. Countess? Very beautiful. Thank you, Countess. Do we have any more callers, uh, Pat? Well, I actually have a couple of messages, and I wonder oh, if I can read them to you. Sure, Jas yeah, Jasmine, New York, can you give me insight on someone I thought cared deeply about me? I used to date him. Do you think he hates me or still cares for me? I want to reach out to him, but not sure if it's a good idea. Thank you, Jasmine, New York. We got gotcha. you. 
Right. Okay. Well, let me tell you this. I feel that this this gentleman does. I do feel that he that he that he wants to, but I feel that there is somebody else around this lady as well, and I feel that there are other options open. I feel that the, they should all be pursued. But this gentleman from the immediate past who has allowed this connection to slip will wake up one morning and visualise himself holding this lady in his arms because. This lady dreams of this man, and as she dreams of this man, so he dreams too, because there is a telepathic connection between them, because their, their relationship in the past was very close. He's allowed it to slip, but it has not vanished. So, dear lady, you're listening to me. It hasn't gone. There are mm. other alternatives immediately with you now. Take that chance. Enjoy your life. Never sit around waiting for tomorrow. Today live today but this man in the future will reconnect and then you've got a decision to make right. countess yes this, this is a unique connection that you have with him jasmine no he does not dislike you he has been wrestling with some things he doesn't like about himself that's why there's a gap here he will surface in the future but i'm totally with john you have to make hay right now Another fascinating candidate seems to be close by. Give that one a chance. And just if you feel the need to reach out to the one from the past, I can't see anything, you know, coming from it that wouldn't be favorable. It's You're giving them an option to reconnect. When the time is right, you'll feel it in your heart. Go ahead with that. And good luck, dear. We are with you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Mr. Benny has got some callers waiting. Wow. We, we're we going to do our best here. Mr. Benny, let's go to the phone. Who now we'll take have? Yvonne calling in from Dallas, Texas. Hi, Yvonne. Welcome to the show. Hi, Dr. Pat. Um, Yvonne, I'm open to anything in any area. <laughs> Yvonne, are you looking to change career? Uh, yes. Because you are changing direction. I believe that you've been studying, haven't you? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm very sorry. Well, well, I, let, let... I left everything like 15 years ago. I said, I just let go of everything. <laughs> and and I've just been waiting. You've been waiting? You don't wait yeah, any well, longer. I've been, well, but... I try things, I put things out, you know, and I've explored a lot of different things. And I'm just wondering, like, I I know that it's going to happen. I'm just wondering what, what's around the corner. Dallas is around the corner. I don't know if you know, do you know a place called Dallas? Yeah, I, uh, that's where I am. <laughs> yeah, well, Dallas, <laughs> Dallas, Dallas is where you're going to make it. Let me tell you that. And you're going to oh. make it. Uh, there's, a, there's a place in Dallas. I can hear this as I'm speaking to you. Do you know a place called Oak? Or Oak, Oak? Road? or Oak, yes. O-A-K, as in the tree. Oh. Yeah? That, is, that yeah. is going to feature. Yeah, it's it's an area where the, where, where the, the area seems to be named after trees. Uh, is oh. there a park there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm by a lake. Pardon? Yes, I'm by a lake. By a lake. lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful area. Something to do with oaks and cedars or... But the name of oak comes to me, yeah? You're changing direction. You're going to apply for a better job. You should be a manager. Do you know that? Uh, yes. Did you yeah, study I... business studies? Um... No, actually, um, my first career was working with uh, special needs children, and I reached the top of that, and I, I felt like I needed to learn more, so I went into alternative health. Yeah, but you should be managing your own business. You should be managing, yeah? You should be yeah. managing a business. You should be running that. You should be using your skills. You know what skills are required. You should be bringing people in. You're a very intelligent, articulate lady, and uh, it is time now. I also feel you've got a failed relationship in the past, so don't look back. Tell me I'm right. Uh, yes. And I want it, I want in the future that will be successful, hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
listen, don't worry about being a success. Uh, success is getting up in the morning and trying again. And, and you're going to get up one morning and you're going to say, this is it, I'm going to do it, and you are going to win Countess. Yes, this is a great year for you, Yvonne. I would just be so thrilled and elated that all the hard work you've done in the past is about to gel and materialize. A few key people will connect to you to help you achieve your dreams, and I I think you have to be running the business yourself. And do you have the confidence to make this thing happen? Or can you feel it like we do, that this is your year? When you sp- first spoke, but yes, it, I, it just ran right up my body. And I have. I've worked. I've done everything you could possibly do to allow uh, the, you know, to allow myself to just um, enter my new contract. That's a perfect way of looking at it because that's what it is. And the world is ready for what you offer. It is just an exactly delightful time to get these methods in to help people. You're a helper and you're. You were ready for something unique, and I would, I would go after my dreams and not let anyone stand in the way. Uh-huh. Well, thank you so much. Thank, bo- thank to both of you, and um, I, I love the, the positivity in what you share. Blessings, dear. Oh, thank you. Blessings to you all there. Oh, mm-hmm. thank you to you too. Wow, what a great show! I want to say to the folks that. Uh, have called in and perhaps have not had a moment to get on air here, uh, you can, please, you can call in to to the show, Psychic World, uh, Wednesdays at 8 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, still the same 800 number, and uh, John and Countess Dorella will both be there. Thank you both for, for joining me. Uh, you know, I, I would love to have you uh, both wrap it up for us here today in the way that you so do. Well, that's very kind of you, Pat. And, Pat, before we go, I've got a message for you. Uh Uh-huh. Very soon, people will be able to watch you doing your show because you're going on camera. Do you know that? Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? I just got an invitation to join a women's television network. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, (laughs) Are you kidding me? Not nobody you. know. Nobody knows that little bit. They, yeah. Well, you know, I uh, tell you what, it's uh, it's something that I've uh, had to break through my own fears around, John. You're going to be absolutely perfect, believe me. Mm. You're going to you're going to look wonderful, and you're going to sound great, just as you do on here. Mm. And uh, we'll we'll, we'll now like to say good goodbye to all the listeners, and do please. Tune in on Wednesday evenings to Psychic World. My name is John G. Sutton. If you wonder who I am, just give it a Google. Have a look on transformation.radio.com. You can see my outline there of the radio show. It's Psychic World. And Countess Stonella, would you like a quick word? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Pat. Thank you, listeners. We send you love and hugs and blessings and go after your dreams. This is the moment. It's your time. Make it happen. And we'll help you. I, I love it. Thank you both for joining me here today. We have the best listeners on the planet. And as we've mentioned before, make sure you all tune in to Psychic World. I want to thank you both for doing all that you do and being all that you are. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I want to thank all of you for tuning us in, turning us on. But you know what? We're not done yet today. I got another hour coming up for you. We're going to crank it up here. You know, uh, John and Countess have set the stage for us. The bar is pretty high. But you know what? I'm up to it. Let's take a short break, everyone. You're listening to the Dr. Pat Show. This is our special edition of Psychic World. John G. Sutton, Countess Sorella. For those of you out there that did not have a chance to call in, as I've said before, write down on your calendar. Well, actually, I should say put it in your smartphone. Uh, Wednesdays, 8 Pacific Time, TransformationTalkRadio.com. I see the calls are still coming in. I want to say please know that when you call into their show, they are going to make time for you. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back.
would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day, we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Are you ready to give your home a fresh look but don't want to do the work? Help is a phone call away. Kathy's Handy is a full-service general contracting company specializing in home improvement, remodeling, and repairs. Kathy's Handy are specialists in kitchens, baths, fireplace makeovers, and finished carpentry, and they partner with other amazing specialty subcontractors needed to complete any job. Friendly, energetic, and dependable with an impeccable reputation to get the job done while keeping you as comfortable as possible during the transformation of your home is the hallmark of Kathy's Handy. Call Kathy now for a free estimate. 206-715-8126. That's 206-715-8126. And visit kathyshandy.com for a complete view of possibilities for your home. Hey, do you like free stuff? The Dr. Pat Show has an amazing giveaway program doing weekly giveaways on Facebook and Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and click the like button. Then go to Twitter.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and click the follow button. Then you can play along and enter to win some amazing prizes. Again, that's Facebook.com slash The Dr. Pat Show and Twitter.com slash The Dr. Pat Show. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, a.m. 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. Come alive and shine with the Alive and Shine Radio Show with Adil and Savitri. Widen your perspective, learn to heal yourself, and clarify your power of choice so that you feel truly alive and shine. The Alive and Shine Radio Show is your how to guide for creating a life in which your dreams come true. Listen live each Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW or at AliveAndShineShow.com. The Tick-Borne Disease Alliance, TBDA, has just launched Fight Back for a Cure, a new national grassroots campaign to build support for the fight against tick-borne diseases. This fall, 24-year-old John Donnelly is biking across America to meet others affected by tick-borne diseases and raise awareness about the national tick-borne disease epidemic. TBDA wants you to get involved in the campaign and follow John's journey. To learn more, visit fightbackforacure.org. Are you feeling stuck? Do you want to be free from fears and doubts and finally feel good about yourself, but you just don't know how to get there? Dr. Schaub's Accelerated Breakthrough Program provides you with the tools and solutions to go beyond your limitations and achieve self-empowered confidence. Call for your free phone consultation at 866-903-MIND. Visit CellularWisdom.com. That's CellularWisdom.com. What's getting your attention as physical pain or illness? Have doctors been unable to help? Consider an intuitive healing session with Christy Borst. Amazing things happen every day, sometimes with jolting awareness.